Dan Ullman, Matt Byrne, your four graded stakes races at Santa Anita on Saturday. Three grade one stakes races, including race number nine at a mile on the turf. It's the Frankie Kilroy Mile. Let's take a look at this field, and the horse we got to start talking about right away is Keeneland graduate, the number four Dortmund, a beast on the dirt when he's right, and now he's with Art Sherman, and his first starts on the turf. Mm. Yeah, it's one of those things. Dortmund's been a horse that's had bad feet for a long, long time, so I wonder if that's part of it. And at face value, you want to look at it and say, oh, wow, nice turf pedigree. Well, it's really okay. not It's really not that good. I mean, Big Brown's 10% with first-time turfers. You look at the damn side, they're in a heck of a lot. He's a half to a horse called Joseph the Cat, who I don't really know who that is. Don't No disrespect if you own him. Not to be rude. Or, yeah, but I don't know who he is. He went two for seven but on he won. turf. Yeah, but I, I don't see a heck of a lot of turf here. I wonder if this is for his feet. I wonder if it's from his feet or if I wonder if it's a prep for something, something else, else down yeah. the road. I mean, we know the source can step on the dirt. The one, two, three, four, five, six, ten triple digit yeah. buyer speed figures, classic placed, ran well against California Chrome a couple of times. What happened to the Breeders' Cup dirt mile? Because that looked like a horse that I wasn't very interested in the stretch. I have to be honest now. I mean, I watching the replays of the workouts prior to the Breeders' Cup. He had gotten buried by, I believe, 10 Blessings. Now, at the time, 10 Sharp. Blessings hadn't really turned into the horse that he turned into as far as the run in the Malibu was concerned, but he just kind of looked like a horse that I was saying, mm, maybe he's a little sour. Now, keep in mind, he had gotten his brains bashed in by California Chrome in each of his past three starts. He's still really talented. There's no denying that. I think Mike Watchmaker in the Weekend Warrior video brought up an interesting point that I hadn't really considered. This is a hulk of a horse. Yeah. He's going to be going over the turf. I don't know how that's going to translate. Look, in many ways, you could say he's the best horse in the race. But I don't know if he can stand on turf. He's probably the best horse in the race. The price, though, isn't going to be no. there because of reputation. He's got to do it on turf, and he's got to go against this formulator fact for a very good trainer in Art Sherman. Here's the Dortmund fact. Past three years, dirt to turf, one for 25, 13 cent ROI. Blinkers come off as well. Maybe to try to get this horse to relax a little bit and save something for the end of the race. You've got several horses coming out of the grade two Arcadia. We know they can step on turf. The three Bolo, we know he runs well fresh. It yep. seems like he wins the Arcadia every year off something like a seven, eight, nine month layoff. I actually thought he pulled a good trip that day. Mike okay. Smith was able to save ground in behind the pace. He came out. It looked like he was in big trouble, maybe struggling over the footing a little bit because it was a good turf mm -hmm. course. But he came and he got up late. To me, that's a four-horse bunched finish. I don't want anybody out of the Arcadia. I can't argue with anyone that makes that case. And you just say, yeah, not a great race. I want to take a fresh face in there. I thought all things considered, it was a good effort from Bolo, oh, yeah. considering he'd been gone for a long time. He was pulling. He's very keen early on. But once Smith got him out of the clear, he did kick on at the end. I, you know, it's one of those things, though. What, doesn't it feel like last time was the time? Isn't he going to be a fraction of that six to one this time? Really, second choice in yeah. here behind Dortmund. If we, if Dortmund takes the money, we think he's going to take. What of you had everything his own way last time out in the Arcadia? Easy lead, turf course with a little bit of give in it. That's what he yeah. wants. He won the Kill Row back in 2016 over a good turf course. He beat several of these horses, but there's other speed in the race, and I'm just not sure he's the same horse on firm turf. I agree completely. I think he had it all his own way last time, and it just didn't work. And I'm sure the connections have got to be disappointing that he couldn't quite get there. You mentioned, too, he popped back to his left lead at the very end, and I wonder if, boy, the stars were aligned and he still couldn't get it done. I don't think he gets it done here. Ring Weekend was a little bit disappointing in the Arcadia. We thought he would run big that day, and maybe he didn't handle the off turf, which is kind of a weak excuse considering his overall body of work on good soft turf is very, very good. I'm not exactly sure what happened with Ring Weekend. He probably deserves a mulligan with his overall body of work. I have to be, maybe I'm being too kind. Uh, I didn't think it was a terrible race. I, I, I thought the way that the race was run, the fractions looked really, really fast early. Uh, they no weren't closing. that fast. There was no closing really going on. And he started finally getting the engine cooking toward the end. The problem was he had spotted everyone three, four lengths. Um, I think Bejarano has to keep him a little bit closer. Don't have him come from a mile out of it. Even with the other speed signed on in here, ideally, be be parked right there with Bolo. Don't come from so far out of it. Flamboyant, no match for Isotherm in the grade two San Marcos, his first start of the year. He's cutting all the way back. This is a horse that got very good in the beginning of 2016 when stretched out to nine, to 10 furlongs. Is a mile too sharp for him, or will the fast pace actually enhance his kick? I think it's a little sharp for him. I think he's better at a mile and an eighth mile and a quarter, even if you want to go out to three-eighths or a half, but um, 
I, I can't fault them for taking a shot here. It's short field, and heck, if you run third, you're going to get a nice paycheck. The six conquest enforcer. We have a positive formulator fact for his high percentage trainer, Phil D'Amato. Past three years, older turf router, second off the layoff, graded stakes, and donating. Get as specific as you want with formulator. 27 <laughs> percent to 247 ROI. Is he as comfortable rating from off the pace? as he is on the lead? Or will it not matter? Is he just on a mission to get to the front? You know, we go back and watch the race, most recently the Arcadia. I, I thought initially, I go, well, maybe he's just not as good when he doesn't have the lead all to himself. Then you hear the whispers from Phil D'Amato and company that he popped a quarter crack during the race, and okay. that maybe that was what hurt him. Flavian Pratt said, that nah, the kick just wasn't there. I, the way he was moving, he was moving so comfortably that I am, I'm kind of buying into that. Whether it's factual or not, we'll find out, who knows. But if this was the case where he had a little bit of an ouchy foot and he was ready to roll, if all of a sudden we're going to get firm turf, which I think he's better over, I know he ran well in that Ma uh, the uh, Mathis Brothers Mile, I think he's better over firm going. If you give me the same exact trip, I'll, I'll take my chances. A little bit still not as professional as he no, should. No, he's a goofball. His lead changes yeah. are not that great, but he's got a lot of upside still. And if you believe the Demano formulator fact, if you believe that uh, he's a, a lot fitter for this start his second time back, he's certainly a major player in here. Let's throw up our picks for the Kilroe Mile. You've been a big fan of the Enforcer. You're going back to him. My idea was I didn't really want anybody coming out of the Ar uh, Arcadia. The problem was almost everybody in this field is coming out of the Arcadia with the exception of Flamboyant, and I agree with you that the distance is a little sharp for him. And Bala Bali, who on his day, he was third in the Kilroe in 2016, can run fast races at a mile. Now, we haven't seen this horse since they tried dirt, draw a line through that race. The Whittingham two-back was a mile and a quarter. I think that's a little far for him at this mm -hmm. stage in his career. Plus, he was a horse that just seemed like he was crying out for a break. He was drifting out going into the first turn of his races. He just didn't look very happy. I think Javier is going to have him in behind the first flight of two, three horses. They should be going at least a fair pace. We'll see if he kicks or we'll see if he needs one. We've never again been, been fans of Bala Bali, but he has races. Oh, I, I liked him a little bit when he came over, and, and he just seemed to get sour a little bit yeah. as they kept going on with him. And I have to be honest, based on the field that showed up for the Gold Cup last year, I don't fault them for trying the third either. Take a shot. It is what it is. He's go been gone for a long, long time. Maybe he's going to need one but guess what? He fired fresh when they first got him right. over and here. And that was so, off even a worse problem that he had Yeah, now. I mean, he almost died. He had laminitis. So I, I feel like that, that I don't want to use that really as the excuse. The excuse now comes down to, or not the excuse, but can he still run? Because if he can, he has a puncher's chance in here. It's not like he's some complete bum. He, he has races on his page that are good enough to win in here. But the goal is in this race, from a gambling standpoint for both of us, is this. Dortmund's got to prove it to us at a short price that he's ready, A, off the layoff, B, on the turf. At the end of the day, you're going to take a shot with the six conquest enforcer, six, five, three, and four. I'm going to go with Bala Bali, one, seven, three, and six, in the grade one kill row. The other interesting thing is this is the second leg of the all stakes pick four. So all of a sudden, if Dortmund takes a lot of cash, I, I'm not afraid to take a shot against. Tremendous card at the Great Race Place on Saturday. Approximate post time for the Kill Row, race number nine, 430 Pacific. Good luck.